Good afternoon, everybody. Coming to you live from Wyoming today. We are at a sugar processing plant, uh, which has been around since 1912 and had some really unique issues with their compressed air system, primarily that the pH levels inside the building with the different processes are so high that they've been actually eating through stainless steel and regular steel and concrete and of course the air compressor so nothing was lasting we would proposed a uh, engineered solution with a custom uh, cabinet here that you see the enclosure so we've actually put the uh, compressor system into this enclosure uh, this is the back side of it with the access doors that you can see here that's how we get the compressors in and out uh, but pretty straightforward the customer poured this pad a couple of days ago and uh, compressor came in on time electrical panel was ready to go for the electrician who basically came uh, from that pole to that panel easy as that so it's truly a plug-and-play solution let's go inside and have a look so we've got two man doors on this system as I pan around just kind of give you a quick overview first see our louvers and there's our Sigma air manager but we'll start from this side here's our power coming in 480 volts three phase we have a step down transformer which gives us the lower voltage 240 volt 120 volt to supply power to our different devices that require lower voltage we've got a 400 gallon tank and uh, this solution is a split solution uh, when we initially looked at an audit that was conducted a couple of years ago by a, a different uh, manufacturer the recommendation was two large machines and a tank so we come up with a uh, split solution we basically uh, provided a sfc 45s a 60 horsepower variable speed and three asd 40 s's fixed speed machines of course all being controlled by our sigma air manager if we go down a little a little uh, deeper into the container you can see that all of these have the heat rejection option so all the heat is being captured and rejected outside and we've got automated louvers to help us keep some of that heat during the colder months because it does get pretty cold out here so there's the last one there's your controller up there you can see you got lighting all throughout all the conduits already been run walls are insulated in this case for the air treatment we've got a kbd 600 of course with a pre-filter and after filter and back here i'll give you a peek at the condensation management system kcf 200 manifold up and there's your exhaust fan that you can see running up there it's pretty warm day so it's been running for a while they have a, a unique situation here at this plant and they have what's called campaign and off campaign during the campaign they'll probably have most of these machines running but during off campaign we're mainly doing maintenance here and some packaging uh, no need to fire up the larger compressor so an sk20 was brought in with its own desiccant dryer not connected to the sam so they just run that as needed basically and it's got its own ventilation there here's our other man door um, obviously it gets pretty cold out here during the winter so you've got heaters all throughout there's three of them that are proportionally spaced you can see our inlet louvers here uh, it does get pretty dusty out here we're about to one of the last things we need to do is just put in some hvac panels here some filter media probably like a mer 5 or merv 8 panels that you can pretty much get anywhere at a hvac store or home depot or something like that but you can see the floor a lot of attention to detail you've got a, a reinforced structural base with the d diamond plate deck a chem flash metal primer and a urethane enamel as I said earlier, the walls and the roof are insulated. There's a two inch thermoacoustic insulation behind these here walls. Um, you got the doors that are fitted with overhang rain gutters, which is a really nice feature. Uh, but all in all, a fantastic build. You got a customer that's really happy and uh, a sales team that is very proud of our systems engineering group for a job very well done. Great build. Thanks for watching.